All right, what we've done, we're doing a putty over here so that I could set the condyles back in the most protruded position, at least what I feel like it is now, and set the, this occlusal plane with that occlusal plane. That's just our working vertical right now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add putty all the way across here, and then we can scan the putty for the vertical. All right, we use that left side to guide her in, and then we're gonna get an impression of the back of these teeth and the left and the right side. Hopefully the right and left will stick together and loot for the 3D scan. You can scan those in your intraoral scanner, but it'd better if you have a box scanner, be more accurate. So this will be our working vertical dimension for today. I was basically going off the incisal edge of the front teeth, which I thought were the best teeth in the mouth and setting that relative to the bridge that was created on the upper right, which I think the bridge is possibly long, but I need something to be able to go off of. So she's partially edentulous. So therefore we use the putty to get our working vertical in this case. Mm -hmm. And I think we're gonna be in the ballpark, certainly within a couple millimeters. All right, let's see how it goes. Try to take this out. Get it off that tooth. And let's see if we've got something we can work with. All right, so looks like I've got some good indentations of some teeth, probably a little drag, obviously. I've got that uh, implant abutment, looks good. The tops of these teeth are good. All right, I've got the backs of the lower teeth. I've got that tooth in there, that's good. We'll probably cut this out a little bit so that the camera can see down inside there. But we can align some vertical on the backs of the mandibular incisors and this implant crown, as well as that implant abutment and the tops of these teeth, that implant abutment as well. So this is our, this is our vertical dimension right there. You can scan it in an internal scanner, but for better accuracy, you can scan it in a desktop box scanner. Cool.